I found that first place I found that Letrozole is really not as good a uh, oral pill agent as Clomid. Uh, Letrozole works by uh, uh, reducing or by blocking aromatase, and so uh, the uh, the ovary is producing uh, less estrogen, and uh, so the pituitary gland responds by more more FSH and LH. The way Clomid works is it, it's a competitor uh, for estrogen receptors on the pituitary gland. And so it, it fools the pituitary into thinking there's less estrogen around. Uh, both of them are very reasonable mechanisms. It's just we found from a practical point of view that Clomid just gives us better quality eggs and, and works better. Uh, as far as the fibroids are concerned, uh, you really shouldn't have an, an, an increase in fibroids with either because letrozole lowers your estrogen, and that's how it works, actually, and Clomid antagonizes the estrogen. So uh, I, uh, I, for, I think Clomid will give you a better quality age. Now, what about fibroids? We don't worry about fibroids until we're ready to transfer the embryos. And then the best thing to do is to remove them surgically and cleanly and beautifully. Uh, but uh, we, we don't think that treating them uh, with hormones is effective. You want to remove them, get rid of them, and then transfer the embryos that you've already uh, uh, produced by retrieving eggs beforehand and fertilizing them and freezing the embryos. And, and so you, you're not really worried about, uh, about increasing the size of the fibroids. So that's why I prefer to do it. I, I ignore the fibroids at the moment get the embryos first, then we remove the fibroids, then we transfer the embryos. Okay, your next question. Do you accept Medicaid for 